In this video I'm going to show you how we can make this animation. When we load an image we would like to go from black and white to a colored one and also from thumbnail to a better quality image. So how do we do that? We're going to be using two things. Actually we're going to be using one thing which is coil and the other thing that we would just need is we need small image and large image. In our case we're using the APO API, which is returning us the images, and usually it returns us only the thumbnails, and that's why if we check the model here, if you're following the previous tutorials, or even if you're not, we're usually having only the thumbnail image. And to get the large image, actually we can do this to convert it, the string that's being returned from the feed. If we change it to 100 by 100 to, let's say, 1k to 1k, it then will return us the big image. So yeah, we have just the normal image, the thumbnail one, and then the large image. So that's how we handle it here. But of course, I mean, I'm just showing you the example, but in your case, it will be different for sure. Now, when we usually use coil, we have something like this, you know, like async image, and we're just passing the image and that's it. I mean, nothing special. We're setting up the size and maybe, you know, some extra functions over here, but that's all. And in our case, when we have this transition over here, we're going to be doing it very similarly, but we have this one, which is loadable async image. It's just this is our composable, which is, as you can see, almost exactly the same. But we have one more thing added to it, which is actually a couple more things, but mainly is the large image that we're passing to the model. And we're passing to an extra parameter, which is called placeholder memory cache key. And this is our thumbnail image. When we check what's happening, we can see that we have this enumerator class, but we have just different types of animations in our case. Currently, we saw the review black and white, but we have a couple of more. And yeah, like I said, I just did this so we can have, you know, different styles of animations. We have a couple of variables here. The one that we're interested in currently is the placeholder bitmap, which is going to be representing our thumbnail. So every time that we're loading the thumbnail, we're going to be loading it into this variable. So this will be the bitmap of it. And then we're going to be loading this in the image view itself. So this bitmap is getting it from the memory cache. And if there is, you know, a memory cache, we're going to be getting the bitmap. So we don't have to actually load it every time from the URL. Next, we can see that we have this async image and this is our high quality image. So the overall idea actually is to have two images and the high quality one will be always under the thumbnail one. This means that because every time we have the thumbnail image loaded, we're going to be seeing first the thumbnail one, and then we can do the animation that we would like to that image, which will be always on top. Maybe we're going to be hiding it, or maybe we're going to be, you know, just transitioning it somehow, whatever it is, that's how everything is going to work. So yes, this is just a simple image loading of our high quality one. Then we can see the different types of animations. And this one is the fade animation. And we can see here that we have just animated visibility and nothing else. So every time we want to hide it, we are just, you know, fade out and fade in. That's it. And then we have this placeholder image, which is our placeholder image, the thumbnail one. And inside of it, we're just checking if it's no. If it's no, you know, we're just setting some progress indicator. And if it's not no, we are actually outputting the image, the thumbnail image again. And let's check the next animation. We have the review horizontal and review black and white in the same if statement, just because they're very similar. So what do I mean is when we use horizontal, it will be actually the same as the black and white, but it will not have, you know, the the black and white effect. It will just be this line that will be transitioning from low quality image to high quality image. And this transition is nothing special. Let's see how it's done. We have this animation that is saying, you know, how many seconds, some easing, and that's it. And then we're changing from zero to one. So based on this fraction that we ha have here, that's zero or one, we're going to be calculating the thumbnail width and we're going to be displaying certain amount of that thumbnail based on that review fraction. So that's how actually this line transitioning from one image to the other happens, which is a simple trick, but it works very nicely. And as I said, we have it in uh, one if else because um, the other animation is just involves having the image turned to black and white. And we do this by just setting a color filter and we're checking if you know, if it's the black and white effect, we're just setting color metrics 
and we've set it this to the saturation to zero so it makes it black and white and that's how the effect works but if we change this let's say to fade and we build it now let's open some album let's say this one it just fades nicely so that's just the effect nothing special just a nice fade out but it works very nicely because we have you know a high quality image underneath it and it makes this you know fake transition you can say from one image to another well that was it for this tutorial and just keep in mind everything is in the description you can find the full code there you don't have to write it yourself so if this tutorial was helpful please leave a like and subscribe for more